Well, hello again. Count Gregula here at uh, Wizard World Chicago Comic Con. And look who I have with me right now, Rod Blagojevich. How are you, Count Gregula? It's nice to meet you. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. I, I've heard a lot about you. Have, have you been doing anything lately? Well, I've been kind of tied up with certain things, but, uh, you know, i got to tell you, you kind of have a bit of a monster look to you. There's some monsters <laughs> here, but you guys aren't nearly as scary as some of those people who are coming after me. Oh, yeah, I, I hear you on that. That's, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? There was all kinds of wiretaps and everything. I don't know what's going on. Well, I mean, the truth's going to prevail, and it, the truth is prevailing. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't let the people down. And we made a big step forward uh, showing that just recently, and the fight continues. And uh, I appreciate you giving me a chance to be on this show. I'm having a great time here at Comic-Con. i uh, never been here before. I was told that they attract thousands of people, but having been here, there's more people here than the Super Bowl. Yeah, I agree. I think the Super Bowl couldn't even hold all these people, if you, you believe it or not. I, I, don't, I don't disagree with it. It's, <laughs> it's an amazing thing. But congratulations on your show. And... Uh, you know, I bet you guys are pretty hot during Halloween. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, that's why we only come out at night. You know, at night's the best time, isn't it? Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, nighttime has its advantages. <laughs> you can hide in the shadows, you know. You don't have to be out in the open where people look at you. You know, I, I don't like being stared at. Yeah, well, don't forget, the next election, uh, keep an eye on some of those politicians who want to raise your taxes. Yeah. If you're worried about getting the blood sucked out of you, keep an eye on Pat <laughs> Quinn, man. He wants to raise your taxes by more than 66%. And I think people are struggling, and I don't know that you want that to happen. But if you do, you'll be paying a heck of a lot more. Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't like that. I hate taxes, especially on my coffin. You know, it's, it's enough money the way it is to have a coffin in a crypt. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing to vote from your coffin. This is Chicago. We expect that. But why should they be taxing you like they are? Good fight. And you become a celebrity, too. You did Letterman. You did The View. Wow, you were with Donald Trump. How did that feel to get fired with uh, Donald Trump? Look, I thought that was the right verdict. Donald Trump had, did the right thing firing me when I was in the boardroom. Yeah, no, he's a good man, and, he, and he's, a, you know, he's, a, he's a very strong guy who's known adversity himself. Donald Trump yeah. you know, was uh, riding high in the 1980s, then he was shot down in the early 1990s. He was almost a billion dollars in debt, okay. and then he picked himself up, fought back, faced his adversity like he did, and then now he's worth almost $2 billion. So that's a complete yeah. turnaround, and I look at him, and I look at a tremendous inspiration. I'll never be a billionaire. But I do believe that uh, you know that you know that I'll be back. Oh. Coming to Comic Con is like one <laughs> one real surreal, cool, <laughs> cool experience. Who would think you'd be talking to a vampire, right? Did you ever think of that? Who would think that I'd feel close to a vampire and actually like him? <laughs> well, thank Honestly. you, Count Gregula, and I didn't let you down, and I appreciate you giving me a chance to be here. And I hope all your viewers come to Comic Con and get a chance not to see Count Gregula, but you get a chance to see some of the superheroes we grew up with either reading comic books or watching television. I had a chance to meet Adam West and, and uh, Burt Ward, Batman and Robin. I had a chance to meet Lindsay Wagner, and, and I got a feeling I'm not the only one out there who's listening, who grew up having a crush on her. So, uh, you know what, sometimes your dreams come true. Hey. You know, there's one question that my audience has been asking. Do, do you wear boxers or briefs? Well, you know what? I got to be careful with that answer because if I say something, I'm afraid that might be on the front page of the Chicago Sun Times. <laughs> so, Not like you haven't been there lately. Right? Yeah, I think I'd like to lay low a little bit. <laughs> Keep something secret. That's good. You got but, to. But a great, great statesman named Winston Churchill once said, "A lie travels halfway around the world before the truth gets a chance to pull its pants on." Okay. <laughs> so I ain't gonna tell you about boxers or briefs, but I will say. The truth is getting out, and those pants are coming up. The pants are coming up. That's the way we want to hear it. Yep. Never have your pants down in these situations. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thanks, Con Greg. I appreciate great it. Great meeting you. Yep. Great meeting you. Thank you. you. Know? We love it. We Thank love you, it. man. We'll Good send luck. it back to you. Let's give them a... Uh,